Well, I think the best way to, to talk about this particular piece would be to um, go to the title, which is uh, Pensive, She Waits to Wave and Welcome Them Home, parentheses for Ashley. Now, the immediate assumption, or what many will surmise, is that I'm dedicating this to a woman. Actually, Ashley is a town in Pennsylvania, and uh, the town where the Hubert Colliery is located, this ruin. Um, um, and because it is ruined, it is more or less forgotten. Um, and I found when I was attempting to locate this ruin, uh, that the town was more or less forgotten because I was within a half a mile of the town and no one could tell me where Ashley, Pennsylvania was. So I found that to be rather ironic, uh, to say the least, especially when driving you know, a half a mile further and all of a sudden I saw it. I saw the ruin. There it was in the middle of the town, so forth. So. I went into the, the structure and I just, it just was amazing. I mean, painting after painting, I saw it, it was just unbelievable. And in particular, this piece with the balcony. Um, balconies, as you know, have long been a part of art history from Goya to Manet and beyond. Um, and I thought in this instance, pensive, she waits to wave and welcome them home. We have a whole town waiting because what happened was this was a boom industry, a booming industry prior to World War II. But when the men went off to war and then some came back, some didn't, this industry dried up. And thus the town, the women, women that normally would be equated in art history uh, waiting there to welcome their men home. Uh, in fact, the whole town of Ashley is waiting for these men to come back. This, the factory itself is waiting for it to come back, for existence to begin again, for life, for, for something. Um, because when this disappeared or when this closed, so did Ashley. Ashley more or less became another example of a non-place or nowhere. I uh, found some subject matter in Nebraska, one of which they were tearing down while I was in there trying to get, you know, some sort of documentation. Um, and others, it's just, I more or less have to stick with the tri-state area, Pennsylvania, New Jersey, New York. And then when I get a residency, which takes me somewhere else, then I'll look for subject matter there. Um, I found some subject matter outside of Chicago, Gary, Indiana, places like that. But the problem is, is time. I'm attempting to um, cross the Atlantic and uh, go into uh, Europe and perhaps, uh, perhaps a secure residency over in uh, Czechoslovakia, Germany, somewhere over there where I can get some serious subject matter, you know. I mean, not that this is serious, but uh, you know, I, I mean, there's a lot of, I've always been told from from people that have lived over there that that's where I need to go to see East Germany as it was and, and to see like Czechoslovakia and so forth. perhaps Serbia and Bosnia and other areas.